hello there welcome back to another new video so in this video i'm going to review another custom rom based on android 13 for redmi note 8 so i have already reviewed two three roms based on android 13 and the previous rom was quite good which is xdroid rom and it has one issue with that rom is like it has slow charging issue which i found after the review and i have mentioned it in the description so if you want to uh, look at that rom you can check my videos i will put in the card you can check it and so today we are going to review the xdroid rom so one of the best rom for android 12 is xdroid rom which i have reviewed already and it is b version 8.8 .8, and there was a, a update version of it like version 8.9 but i haven't tried it but i have tried 8.8 .8 and it was great so this is version 9.0 which is based on android 13 so let's go and check so this rom is actually as i said about the 8.8 .8, it was a great rom and 9.0 also great rom it is released actually uh, i have seen better rom about this rom nearly a month ago but i just flashed this rom a week ago and i have been trying this rom and uh, frankly said there is no issue with this rom and the the maintain those who are maintaining this rom they are doing great job of, about this rom so what we are getting in this new rom although it's based on android 13 actually there is nothing much new you can find this rom so this based on android 13 and the, the osp version of android 13 has nothing changes not a lot maybe there are a lot of internal changes but not much to mention actually so based on android 13 as you can see it's from me jinko and c droid version is 9.0 and you are getting uh, october 5 2022 security patch so it's quite good not bad and you are getting shami parts is here so skin burning issue i have mentioned it thousand times in my videos all of my custom rounds videos i have already uh, mentioned about it about the skin burning issue of redmi note 8 not only redmi note 8 there are a lot of phone in xiaomi they have this issue and if you don't have kkl support you can use actually night mode if you use night mode you will get less uh, screen burning issue but as for it so the setting layout is nearly identical like the android 12 there is nothing new and you can see see a droid setting so it's called open goodness see a droid setting you can tweak a little bit and i like this option actually every custom rom should have this kind of thing actually built in because um it, it is it will give you a lot of i mean a bit freedom to customize your os however you like so there it's here now so another thing is the notification panel yeah you can change it you can customize it as you can see so if you go to the notification panel so there are all things and internet and you can select individual wi-fi and mobile data here there is this thing is there and about the fingerprint so it's working fine there is no issue just tap it and it's work it is not the first test one and it's worked just fine there is no issue every time you touch it it will unlock there is no face unlock and if you go here if you use mobile as a hotspot the bad news is you will be, you will only get 2.4 gigahertz band and for dns there are some dns cloudflare dns edgar dns you can use edgar dns to reduce the ad so you can select it and the hotspot as i can say there is no option to select 5 gigahertz band or 2.4 gigahertz band that means you only getting 2.4 gigahertz band so rather than that there is nothing new in here battery backup is actually great so there is no issue no drain issue no heating issue i haven't found maybe some of you um sometime after review you guys tell me that you are having this issue that issue please um if you're flashing the custom rom uh, flash it clean so first format data and everything even internal storage clear internal storage then flash it so so that you will not get any kind of issue so i have whenever i flash custom rom i just uh, install it clean and i don't get any issue actually so one thing you can some some of you like uh you don't want to like uh what it called you don't want to miss your apps and other things and settings we can use uh swift backup we will which will help you to restore app and app data so i have done it as you can see here so in this rom let me show you something so i have installed actually 
um, vanilla version of it so it came with uh, of just few apps uh, there was no play store no sweet backup and magisk so only these few apps nearly um, maybe 12 or some apps so if you want like gs version i think there is an option a bible so i just flash um, the vanilla version and after that i just uh, flashed the core g apps which only come with play store and google services so that i don't need to disable google and other things so i just did it there is no nothing here anymore and rather than that as i said it's come with there is no Sh xiaomi camera app you are getting this camera app i don't know what is that it is based on lineage os maybe so the camera does work but i don't really like that um, as i use mostly uh, my gcam which worked perfectly fine and if you want the gcam link i will put the gcam link in the description below you can download it from there and i put i'm i think i have put it in last rom also maybe i'm not sure but okay if you need it you can download it from there and there is no issue as you can see here it's fluent it's fast and you can use it as a daily drive maybe in long run you uh, long run you need to uh, clean or format the data and uh, factory reset it after a few months or something because sometimes custom ROMs when you use long time they get buggy and you can't really use them so that's it for this ROM actually now there is nothing new I can say about this kind of ROM because these, these are based on AOSP there is nothing new and one thing in Android 13 which is new actually if you are opening new apps like you haven't used so like if I open the business facebook business maybe they will ask you do you want notification or not so this is new in maybe in android 13 so you can use it and other than that there is nothing new you are getting uh, other things like dark mode theme back and is all at same there is nothing new than android 12 so and i don't really think it's a it's necessary to update in Android 13. I don't really think that. But if you really want to install Android 13, you can check this ROM. It's the best one actually you can find. So it's it's a good ROM. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.